Hi guys, my name is Phoenix Bogle. Welcome to this week's episode of Mental Health Minutes. I'm joined here by my good friend Bailey. Hey. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm from Fulcher, Texas. I moved here going into my eighth grade year. Um, I just recently committed to Wake Forest last or the Monday before this past Monday. And then um I play for Houston Skyline. I'm an outside hitter. And I started playing there my 13th year. That's awesome. What helped you decide to commit to Wake Forest? Um, I think the coaches and, like, the environment, also the way they set up the visit, like, making sure I didn't only get to hang out with or, like, get to know the volleyball staff, but, like, the other stuff outside of volleyball and, like, other people outside of volleyball. They had, like, a little, like, um, uh, opening for, like, the student athletes. And I got to go to that and, like, see all the other athletes interact with each other, which is really cool. And then they also showed me a little bit around their downtown and, like, campus itself, mm -hmm. which was, like, I guess obviously they're going to show you around, but I think the way they did it, they kind of broke it down. I got to spend time with like each coach, the um, weight, nutrition people, weight people, everything, the um, academic people. So I got to like interact with everybody. It wasn't just like they're trying to hide things. They like let me kind of do my own thing, got to talk to everyone, every girl on the team and everything like that. Amazing. That's so cool. Well, congrats. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. How long have you been playing volleyball for? Um, I've been playing since my 13th year. I did like a little bit of um, volleyball, like second grade, like a little church league, which I wouldn't really like count because it's not real. <laughs> but um, I started playing like actual club, like my 13th year. So I've been playing, I think about five years now, going into my fifth year and then next year will be my sixth That's cool. in my last club year. So yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to think about. I know. It, it goes by so quick. Like you don't even realize it goes by so quick. Oh. <laughs> It was by so fast. It's just, yes. it's crazy. Okay, so <laughs> how many years have gone by? Because obviously you've been playing volleyball for a long time. What are mm -hmm. things you had to start doing and that you've been doing to keep your mental health in a good place with like the stresses of school and junior year and then like the stresses of recruiting starting? Like, how do you keep your mental health in a good place with it all? I think for the school part, just making sure like I get the work done mainly in school or like um, with club, like having volleyball, probably getting some work done, like I said, in school and then coming back and doing it. If I have to stay up, then I will, obviously. And then for recruiting and all that, I think um, just making sure like I understand like everyone has a different time period of when they commit, when they do certain things and like understanding that I'll, I'll get my time and stuff like that. So just staying patient with that is like a really big thing. And then um, for the most part, just like trying not to knock myself down too much, which can be hard just like mistakes and like comparing yourself to other people, but just like making sure that you focus more on you and like everyone's their own person and stuff like that. So yeah, just make sure you focus on you and don't like knock yourself down. Like, and just also time management. is like a really big thing for, for sure. sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So whenever club season starts, like what are things that you do the night before like a big tournament or maybe like before the last day and you start like bracket play, like what are things that you do to mentally prepare yourself and get in that state of mind? Like, okay, I got to go. Like, it's important. The day before, so we get there, I hang out with my friends a little bit. And then like, I try not to think about like it too much. I more like prepare myself in a positive way. Like I'm ready to go. Not like, oh my gosh, I can't, we were going to play them and them and them, you know, but like, just like also being able to like, they're like, Hey, me and my team got it. We've been working in the gym, you know, so just trusting my team, trusting myself and then like preparing myself in a positive way and not like a oh my gosh, like I can, you know, in a scary way, I, I guess. And then for bracket play, I think just like I've been in a, the situation so many times now from like 13s up to now. So it's like, you know, nothing new, just going confident and like a strong mindset. And like I said, just trusting like my team and myself. So yeah, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> so if you had one piece of advice to give to younger athletes or even older athletes about keeping your mental health in a good steady place through everything, what would it be? Um, I think like, obviously I have like a good support system with like my family coaches, but one thing like my dad, like kind of always said when we were younger is like the cream will rise to the top. So like, like kind of like, kind of like how I said, like your time will come and like everyone's time is different, you know? And so I think just like being patient, keep working, stay consistent, like as, as consistent as possible. And like, just like stay mentally strong as strong as possible and like your time will definitely come for sure. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was really good talking to you.
Yeah, you too. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today on this episode of Mental Health Minutes. My biggest takeaway from this episode was your time will come. It doesn't matter if someone commits on June 15th or if someone commits the next June 15th. Like your time is going to come. Take your time in the recruitment process and remember that everyone has a different timeline. Don't start comparing your timeline to someone else's timeline, especially with social media. Don't start looking through all the recruitments and seeing, oh, this person committed here. Oh, this person committed here. I should just commit to the first place that calls me. Take your time and wait until you find the program that fits you best. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Love you all. Stay kind. Have a great day.